Hey everybody, me again, Channel Practical Power Court. Today's video, I'm gonna teach y'all how to make some clay ammunition for your sling. Guaranteed to bust up bricks, y'all. Let's make it quick. First, what you're gonna need to do is dig you up some dirt, y'all. You know, you don't wanna get too much grass in it, but you know, at the end of the day, you can siphon it out. So get you some good dirt anywhere it works. If it's mud on the ground, it'll work. Now, once you got your dirt, you gotta get you a little bit of water, y'all. Me, I jumped in this little canal, and I uh, probably could have got more water, but hey, this is enough. So, you got your dirt, you got your water. Now, mix them together and stir it up real good. While you're stirring it, what you're doing is you're kind of just separating the clay from the rest of the mud. You know, because after you shake it up, get it nice, stir it up really, really good. Then you're going to put a strainer and strain the clay through the strainer to get all the trash and debris out of it. And let y'all know ahead of time, I probably could have went back and forth a few times to get a little cleaner, but it is what it is and that's what we got. Now we let it sit. This is right when we did it. An hour later, and this is 24 hours from that. So after about an hour, you get all you need. Now it's time to separate the water from the clay. And I like to just siphon the water off the top, you know, suck it on all the way down, turn it a little bit to get everything you can out of it, and then plow it out. You got you some clay. Like I said earlier, it's a little dirtier than it should be, but we'll be all right. Now, get you a piece of cloth or a, a pillow cushion. That's what I got, a pillow case. And just fill it up with all your clay, y'all. And the rest of the water is going to separate from the clay through dripping because you're going to hang it and the bag will soak up the water that's on the side of it and this is what it's going to look like you know it's going to look like all water really soft but i promise a little time it's going to get nice and hard now i'm going to end up hanging mine for 26 hours before i take it out but with that little bit of dirt or uh, clay it'll work see this is a uh, this ain't quite 24 hours later. I'm going to flatten it out, hang it up, just so it will dry a little bit faster. And voila, there it is. I think that's 28 hours, 26 hours later. I'm going to take my mud, my clay, and push it all the way down in the corner just so it's a nice little ball. And then after I got it nice and tight like that, I'm just going to plop it out. Yes, there's a lot of clay I'm going to leave in there, but that's okay. I'm just going to wash that out and get some more. And there it is. Now, when you do this, the middle of the clay is going to be very wet. So, you know, once you pop out that turd, I like to play with it just a little bit just to get the consistency the same all around. And one way I like doing that is rolling it in a rag and flattening it out. You know, and just keep doing the uh, the finger test. If I can touch it and I get clay comes back on my finger, then it's just not quite ready yet. All right, it's an hour from when we first brought it down. And now I'll play with a little bit. I feel it. Oh, still got a little bit of mud. We're almost there. So we play with it, come back about an hour later, and then it passes the test. So we make a worm and we fold it like that just so it can dry up even quicker and then plow it out. 30 minutes later, we are ready to make a sling bullet and there it is. My molding skills ain't the best for sure for this one, but voila, a week later, you're ready to sling 100%. Diana, big baby. So that is how you make a clay bullet out of dirt, y'all. It's some sling ammo that actually works. Like at the end of the day, you can't buy ammo like that. Like you go buy a golf ball, clay bullet will work every time a lot better. I like mine a little heavier. And today the one I did was real light because I wanted to hurry up and get this video through. So if you use a lot more dirt and mud, I want you to know it's gonna take a lot longer than the hours it took for this. But if you wanna make it real short, that's what you can do, y'all. 
Hope y'all like what y'all seen today. If y'all did, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, and what you do, tell them that notification bell. Thank you. Practical bear record, hey, you don't want to miss it, keep you entertained, you already know what this is, catch him in Louisiana, uh, now he's showing you, rock slinging, shepherd slings, and plenty tutorials, make sure you subscribe now, all the slinging techniques, pair recording legend, I got all the tips, check these, hey, I know that you gonna like it for sure, make sure that you tune in to practical bear record, let's go. Only thing on my mind, I got a passion, it ain't no denying. I'm pair recording to the sundown. The dopest channel that you gon' find. Yes indeed, packing up with my EDC. I'm so ready for whatever G. Everybody keep on telling me I need to check out Practical Pair Record. Hey, you don't wanna miss it. Keep you entertained. You already know what this is. Ain't no need for waiting. Really, it ain't no debating. Keep it hype. Make sure that you hit the like and subscribe. Hey.